Today in 2008 Jeep Liberty, we're going to install part number HM56204 from Hopkins. This is a Hopkins custom taillight wiring kit for towed vehicles. First thing we need to do is go ahead and get our vehicle ready to install the wiring. To do that, we're going to go ahead and open up the back hatch and remove both taillights. We'll go ahead and remove the two bolts that hold the taillight in place. We'll pull back from the top and bottom. We'll go ahead and pull it back from the catches here. Then we'll go ahead and remove our taillight from the wire harness. Push down this tab right here, we can pull it apart. Let's go ahead and set our taillight aside for now. We're done for our driver's side for now. Let's go over to the passenger side and do the same thing. All right, next we'll go ahead and start installing our wire harness. Basically, we're gonna take the end with the four pole flat, we're gonna push it behind the bumper cover and down to the ground. We'll eventually run this to the front of the vehicle. Now the wire harness here to split the two halves. Our yellow wire is gonna stay on our driver's side and our green wire is gonna go over to our passenger side. While we're here on driver's side, we'll go ahead and make our connection to the factory wire harness on the vehicle. Now we'll take our other half of the T connector with the green wire we're going to drop it down as well, just like our four pole. With our T connector below the bumper, we'll go ahead and route it over to the passenger side and pull it back up. And we'll go ahead and connect into the wire harness. We're just going to run our wire across for now and back up to the opening behind the bumper and up to our other taillight. We'll leave it like that just to help hold it up. Now we'll go ahead and zip tie our wires using some existing holes behind the bumper. We got a couple zip ties holding the wire up. Now we'll go ahead and use some limb clamps to help hold up the rest of our wires. That'll be part number A0250. Okay, we got our wire secured. Let's go back up to our taillights and reinstall them. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up our harness. Go ahead and take up our slack. We'll go ahead and zip tie our diode converter to our wire harness here. Take a moment to clean up our wires a little bit more because this is, quite frankly, a mess. One thing to note while we're installing, we're going through some zip ties at a pretty fast rate, so it's always a good idea to go out and get yourself some more. Now we'll plug the other half into the back of our taillight. We'll go ahead and reinstall our taillight and then reinstall the fasteners. We'll repeat this on the other side. Next, we'll go ahead and take our wire harness with the four pole in. We'll go ahead and route it to the front. Now, we're going to take our four pole wire harness and route it up over the fender well to get around the rear suspension. Now, we're using an old piece of airline tubing to help pull it through. But this also could be a stiff piece of wire that can hold its shape. Now, when we pull our wire across, the fender well still wants to hide. When we pull our wire across, it still wants to peek out right here. So, all we're going to do is just pull our fender well back just a little bit and run a just drill a hole through enough for a zip tie to help hold it up and out of the way. We took a wire, we zip tie it where we could underneath here using existing holes along the bottom edge of the bodywork. I like the back fender well. We added a couple more zip ties here and here, hide it behind the fender well. And then we went straight underneath the frame up towards the front. When we did that, we used some more loom clamps to help hold it in place. We'll take a four pole, we'll go ahead and push through the hole here and pull it out by our hitch. Now we want our white wire at the ring terminal to go over to our frame for a good ground. 
And we'll use another self-tapping screw for that. Okay, now we'll go ahead and mount our four pole. We'll actually mount it to the bottom here using a bracket. We'll take the cover that comes with the kit and we'll go ahead and run it over it. I'm gonna make sure the band's even on there. Then the bracket holds it, has an opening for it. We just shut the top over it. And we'll use two long screws to help hold it in place. Go ahead and put our cap into place and we'll leave it alone for now. And let's go ahead and bundle up our excess wires behind our bumper cover and we'll be good to go. We got everything complete. Let's go ahead and apply power to it. First, we'll go ahead and check out the taillights. All right, now we'll go ahead and turn our right turn signal on. And now our left turn signal. So we've proved that both our turn signals work. That also means that our brake signal will use that same circuit. Okay, with that, that'll finish it for our install, part number HM56204, the Hopkins Custom Taillight Wiring Kit for Towed Vehicles. For our 2008 Jeep Liberty 